guys welcome back to my channel my name is Beninen and for today's video we're going to be doing another sunscreen review today we're reviewing the be plain clean ocean non nano mild sunscreen this is an SPF 50 plus with a PA of 4 plus be plain is a Korean sunscreen brand and they have a couple of different sunscreens the one that somebody recommended to me here on YouTube or they wanted I don't know if it was necessarily a recommendation but I think they wanted me to review it which is the mineral version I believe they have a chemical version as well a couple other moisture like moisturizers without sunscreen in them but for today we're talking about the clean ocean non nano mild sunscreen I picked this one up from Salvana and at the time it was really cheap. I think I got it for like six, seven dollars, but they also have it on Amazon for around $21, $22. And you can also order it from the Be Plain Global website and on there it's retailing for 26 US dollars. They claim that this is a mild sunscreen. It's supposed to blend easily and provide a non-greasy finish. I will insert the ingredient list up here, but the main active ingredient is zinc oxide. And it also contains some other nice ingredients like niacinamide, which helps to reduce dullness and hyperpigmentation. It also has centella asiatica extract, which centella is recently become one of my favorite ingredients as you guys know my skin was leaning really dry in the winter and centella really helps to bring that moisture back in it helps to soothe the skin and then lastly the other main ingredient that they point out is chamomile rucatita flower extract i hope i said that right and they say that it helps to bind moisture on the skin and keep it soft and supple so i tested this one out on bare skin with a moisturizer and with makeup Day one when I tested it out on bare skin as you guys will see as I'm putting it on there's a very obvious I shouldn't say very obvious actually it doesn't look that obvious in this lighting but there is a white cast and it's picking up a little bit more purple on camera than gray and to me when a sunscreen shows up more purple than just like white or gray um, that shows that it may not even work well on people with a lighter complexion so off the bat, I would say this is not a good sunscreen if you have a complexion similar to mine or even if you're a little bit lighter, it could still show up with the white cast. If you lean a lot more fair, I would anticipate that this will still give you a cast because it has that purple hue to it and that purple hue sometimes picks up even on like very fair skin. And the thing with the cast was when I showed it in my bathroom lighting and I was looking in the camera, I was like, oh, this is actually not that bad. Like we can see there's a cast, but it's not a drastic cast. But then when I moved to my window lighting, that's when you can really see it. Um, so after 15 minutes of wearing it, I moved to my window so we can see what it looks like in natural lighting. And that's where it's really picking up those purple hues and it's not a cute look. Besides the cast, the finish I actually really liked. It gave a very natural finish. It wasn't glowy or shiny, which is good because I have oily skin, but it also was moisturizing enough for me to wear it on its own. So for me, it felt very comfortable with no other products on my face. I think you can definitely wear this just on bare skin. Um, it wasn't drying in my dry areas, which is really nice. So overall, I really enjoyed the finish. And as I was wearing it, I wasn't getting any sensitivities or irritation to it. After wearing it for a while, coming back, it actually held up pretty well after two hours. I wasn't looking really shiny in my T-zones. I wasn't looking extra dry in my dry areas. It really held up after a while. I did not reapply with the sunscreen because it is a mineral sunscreen that already had a cast. So I already know if I'm gonna add another layer to it, the cast is gonna build up. So day two when I wore it with my normal skincare which is a my acne serum and a bit of a moisturizer under i thought that it might look a little bit better but it actually looked about the same to me there was still a cast um the finish of it i feel like it didn't actually sit as nicely as it did without any products underneath so it felt more like the product just kind of sat on my skin causing it to feel a little bit heavier so for that reason i would recommend just wearing this one on its own i think when you add other layers the sunscreen has a hard time really dissipating and smoothing into your skin nicely it did slightly change how it felt but i think the finish stayed about the same it's that natural finish that wasn't like greasy or anything um, this is a lightweight sunscreen, but again, when you put other products underneath, it felt like it was a little bit heavier and it felt kind of like, 
I don't want to use the term cakey, but it just kind of sat on the skin, if you know what I mean. Um, so day two was again, overall very similar experience initially after waiting for a while going in the sunlight, very same finish, same look of it. And then after wearing it for two hours, I'm looking a slightly bit glowy. Again, it's probably because of the moisturizer, but I didn't feel like super greasy after the two hours. So with sunscreens like this that leave a very prominent cast, you do have to put a lot more products on your face to cover up the cast. So I think that's that was my issue. I don't like to wear a lot of makeup where it feels too heavy. And I felt like I had to do that to cover up this cast. If you have a lighter complexion and the cast doesn't show up as much, you might get away with wearing makeup on top, but I wasn't a big fan. Okay, so now that I've talked about different ways that I wore it, I'm gonna give you my overall thoughts on who I would recommend this for. Right off the bat, I would say this is not gonna work for really any <laughs> skin tone, which I don't normally say. Most of the time I can say, oh, if you have a deeper complexion, skip it, and if you're fair, it could work. But because this shows up as purple rather than just like a white cast um, i really think that even if you have the most fairest skin it's gonna show up purple <laughs> and i could be wrong if you have tried it and you have a fair skin and you didn't have an issue with it please let us know down in the comments but i just anticipate that if you're you have a deeper complexion a medium complexion a fair complexion you're gonna see it cast across the board as far as the finish i did enjoy the finish it was a very natural finish that maintained the natural finish throughout the day i didn't get extra oily or greasy in my t-zones and i didn't get extra dry in my drier areas it really was very moisturizing very soothing and stayed consistent throughout the day if you ignore the cast it could work for oily skin um, I don't think you're gonna get greasier from this and I think the niacinamide in it is going to help to kind of control some of those oils and maintain the natural finish. Um, if you are dry, I also think that it could work. If you're dry though and you wanna put other products under, I wouldn't recommend this one because I think the sunscreen just sat on top of the other products and your skin. Um, where it didn't necessarily do that when you wore it on its own. It doesn't have a strong fragrance. It didn't irritate my eyes. It did collect around my eyes. Um, you know, when sunscreens just kind of pool in your creases, this one does do that. And it also does stick to your eyebrows and your hairline a bit more, and it's harder to work in in those areas. I don't know, overall it did feel comfortable on my skin. It just looked terrible. So for all those reasons, I probably wouldn't recommend this one going forward in the future, and I will not be using it again, ever. <laughs> that is it for today's video. My, that's my review on the B Plain Clean Ocean Non Nano Mild Sunscreen. If you've tried the sunscreen and you have a different opinion, or you don't agree with me, let's chat about that down in the comment section below. If you've tried it and you were also like, yeah, girl, it was not cute. <laughs> let's hear that down in the comment section below as well. And don't forget to leave your sunscreen recommendations. As always, I slowly work my way through those. And that'll be all for today's video. I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye.